హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎయిట్ అనదర్ సెషన్ ఆన్ ఎస్ఏ పర్స్పెక్టివ్స్ సో అన్లైక్ అదర్ వీడియోస్ ఆన్ ఎస్ఏ పర్స్పెక్టివ్స్ దిస్ వీడియో ఇన్వాల్వ్స్ డిస్కషన్ ఆన్ టూ టాపిక్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ దెర్ ఆర్ బెటర్ ప్రాక్టీసెస్ టు బెస్ట్ ప్రాక్టీసెస్ దిస్ వాస్ ద టాపిక్ పోస్టెడ్ ఇన్ ద వీక్లీ ఛాలెంజ్ ఆన్ మార్చ్ సిక్స్ దట్ ఈస్ లాస్ట్ సండే అండ్ ద సెకండ్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ ఈస్ ద టాపిక్ దట్ ఈస్ పోస్టెడ్ for weekly challenge on march 13th so that topic is everything that we hear is an opinion but not a fact okay friends before wasting much time let's start with the first topic there are better practices to best practices okay friends and as always i have a personal request my book uh, ethics integrity and aptitude has been pirated third edition is released so but unfortunately the pirated copies are of very low print quality uh, and packaging quality so i urge all, all the aspirants to buy originals original books can be bought uh, from the seller arvind india on flipkart and from the seller affordable on amazon i urge all of you please buy original friends as always this topic also should be conceptualized as being made of various components and sub components so the first we would uh, introduce the topic then we would explain the essence of the topic then we would uh, elaborate on the uh, reasons why one should search for better practices so then we would discuss the mystery around uh, better practices then we would conclude friends since two topics are to be discussed in the single video i would uh, like to be a little quick uh, so that the video would not become unnecessarily longer and you would lose interest so okay friends uh, let us start so the first topic is there are better practices to best practices so essentially i think the best way to introduce uh, this topic is by taking reference to the uh, cyber security so earlier the 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 gold standard for uh, protecting one's own information in the cyber world uh, one's own information stored in anyone's account is through passwords correct that was regarded to be a best practice but later as time passed by uh, i mean the since people started using uh, familiar passwords so their names their friends names some uh, i mean some date of birth etc etc thus protecting an information through password which was regarded to be the best practice uh, uh, remained no longer remained to be the best practice so there was a need for finding a better practice to that best practice what was that better to best practice so it was like advising everybody to go for passwords that could not be guessed easily so so many uh, i mean uh, portals so many softwares made it uh, mandatory for uh, i mean users to use one upper case one number one special character essentially that was the next best practice but uh, later later as time passed by even that was felt to be inadequate so there was uh, the, 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 there began a search to find a better practice to this best practice of uh, protecting information through passwords and that was achieved through otps correct because since even though somebody could uh, uh, find out the password uh, but however uh, since otps uh, i mean uh, are sent to one's personal mobile and others hardly have access to the personal mobiles and also that otp is not a standard one it keeps changing so th- keeping all these things in mind otp was introduced but later even that was at that time that was regarded to be the best practice right later there was a search for finding better practices to that best practice there came dual authentication so that means it was both password as well as uh, otp and now we have other security features also that are getting incorporated see through facial recognition biometrics etc etc thus in the world of cyber world the protection of information is sought to be achieved through constant upgradation of the practices something that is regarded to be the best is better through uh, uh, through through an even more advanced or even better practice correct so that's how you can introduce the topic then you have to explain the essence of the topic so what is practice practice basically means a particular way of doing things then what is best practice best practice is the best way of doing things the best way of doing things correct because any one thing can be done in multiple ways so out of which what is the best way to do the things actually so that is what we mean 
best practice to illustrate suppose you are an executive of a company and you have to send invitation letters to all the shareholders inviting them for a an annual general body meeting correct so there are two three ways of doing it the one is write an individual letter to everyone get an individual letter type to everyone that is this is practice one there is another practice the, the another way of doing things so get a standard letter printed okay with blanks left for filling in the variable content like name number of share holds etc etc correct this is the second way so you get the standard uh, te- i mean template printed and then and then filling in the variable content later okay this is practice number 2 and there is third way of doing it how you use ms word and you use the feature of mail merge wherein even the variable content gets automatically included in that okay that is the third way of doing it but the most reasonable way of doing it with least efforts is the third way that is using the software feature of mail merge in ms word so this is what we call the best practice i think friends all of you would agree that the essence of this topic is that one should strive for perfection perfection is not a destination it is a journey that one should constantly try to improve his or herself in achieving that perfection correct so that is the reason right there are best practices but you have to find the better practices to those best practices correct this is the essence of the topic okay then friends i think it is important for us to expand or to elaborate on the meaning of better practices what do you mean by better correct so the better pra- i mean unless you give this you ascribe this you attribute uh, some meanings to this better practices you cannot write this as a comfortably correct i feel a better practice is one which is ecologically sustainable which is beneficial to poorest of the poor which is financially frugal and which is ethically doable correct see well, let us go one by one what is ecologically sustainable invention of electric car in the place of i mean for cars run on fossil fuels is a better practice correct because it is helping the environment correct any better practice that would uh, i mean uh, that is less polluting that would cause less harm to nature that would uh, reduce the consumption of natural resources is ecologically more sustainable right so thus a better practice whenever we do something whenever we take decision a practice which is regarded to be uh, i mean essent ecologically sustainable is a better practice to another practice which is not ecologically sustainable correct next beneficial to poorest of the poor whether the new practice that is brought into for whether it would benefit poorest of the poor or not this is nothing but gandhi ji's talisman right so that uh, e- any action that would help the person standing in the, uh, the 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 last person standing in the last row is regarded to be a good uh, action correct so suppose the government has decided to slap or impose green tax on fossil fuels in order to discourage people from using from from using transportation dependent on fossil fuels correct so thus ecologically it's a good move but however if that imposition of green tax shoots up the prices of petrol diesel etc then it would adversely impact the lives of poorest of the poor correct there are auto drivers there are taxi drivers there are so many poor people who eke out their by traveling on mopeds motor bikes autos from place to place then their life becomes miserable correct so though then that that cannot be called a better practice then the third thing is financially frugal correct and the third pra- i mean a practice becomes a better practice only if it reduces the expenditure okay the fourth one is it is it should be ethically doable ethically doable so a practice see uh, i am reminded of this movie kingsman 
where the the antagonist of the movie decides to terminate mankind because he is an environmentalist and he believes that reducing the number of human beings on the earth would help would enable the environment to regenerate itself sooner but is it ethical no right so thus any practice for that matter would become better you can call a practice to be a better practice only if it is ecologically sustainable it benefits poorest of the poor it is financially frugal and it is ethically doable friends as i tell you every time we need to introduce an element of analysis to our essay okay in this topic that element of analysis can be introduced by explaining the mysteries surrounding the better practices what do i mean by mysteries because the practices that appear to be better today or that appear to be better need not be better in themselves so analyzing and understanding whether a better practice is really a better practice or not is not that easy it is very difficult that is what i call the mystery sometimes some practice may have appear to be better so we would have gone for that practice but later you realize that that was not a better practice it was actually a worse practice so it is not very easy for anyone to decide whether there is always a better practice to the existing best practice or not okay so let us explain that the first one is short term versus long term what does that mean uh, a, a practice which appears to be better than the existing best practice in the short run need not continue to be a better practice in the long run the best example is usage of chemical fertilizers see in india the food production was very low hence it was a very much essential to beef up food security of the india hence high value variety of seeds high yielding variety of seeds was introduced in the name of green revolution correct at that point of time high yielding variety of seeds were giving more yield than traditional seeds correct and also the chemical fertilizers that were used was playing a critical role in increasing the yield then it was suddenly regarded to be the best practice because it increased the food production it increased farm incomes it promoted inclusive growth it reduced india's dependence on other countries for food thereby strengthening india's position in the global arena correct it saved precious foreign exchange reserves that would otherwise have gone in importing the essential food etc 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 correct at that time usage of chemical fertilizers and high yielding variety of seeds was regarded to be a better practice to the existing best practices correct but later as time passed by we realized that those high yielding variety seeds destroyed the traditional native seeds biodiversity was affected and usage of chemical fertilizers led to the degradation of the soil quality thereby increasing the increasing the uh, input uh, prices for growing crops etc etc basically uh, the the nutrient value of the food itself diminished leading to malnutrition correct so thus something that appeared to be a better practice back in say 60s 70s is realized to be a worse practice not a better practice so we need to be extremely cautious in jumping into conclusion whether something is really a better practice or not and then the second thing is unknown side effects what is this unknown side effects see the uh, something that is dubbed to be a better practice to the existing best practice may have some underlying side effects which are not known to mankind it the best example is plastic see initially the plastic was regarded to be a boon it uh, revolutionized packaging industry it revolutionized the way things happened because it was cheaper it revolutionized the entire economy itself but we failed to realize back then the unknown side effects of the plastic that is it was not degradable that <coughs> Uh, i mean side unknown side effect was realized only later 
so this lack of awareness of side effects of an exist uh, of uh, a new practice which is regarded to be a better practice to the existing best practice is another factor to be kept in mind while deciding whether really a better practice has come in place or not then the third one is i mean i am mutually exclusive planks what do i mean by mutually exclusive planks see in the previous slide i explained it to you a bad i mean a practice becomes a better practice if it is ecologically sustainable ethically doable financially frugal and uh, it benefits poorest of the poor but all these things have to be integrated and have to be achieved by single best practice correct but such that is very rare because these planks itself are mutually exclusive from one another that means a best practice that seeks to achieve one would incidentally compromise the remaining planks so that has to be essentially kept in mind so an environmentalist who seeks to make he seeks to bring in a better practice to may to 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 uh, help eco environment may indirectly compromise on benefiting poor may indirectly compromise on the plank of financial frugality etc 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 so thus the very nature of better practice itself makes it extremely difficult to, to search for a better practice correct so this is the mystery surrounding better practices then we have to come for conclusion what is conclusion friends from the above discussion we can safely conclude that every individual should constantly strive for better practices to the existing best practices there is no doubt about it so that perfection should be viewed only as a journey not as a destination however in this journey of seeking or bettering perfection one has to be very mindful and choose only those practices that satisfy all the criteria for being the best practice and also those practices that don't just appear to be a better practice in the short term but also will prove to be a better practice in the long run also so this is how you can conclude okay friends now let us jump to the next topic the second topic in this video is everything we hear is an opinion not a fact similarly friends this essay also has to be conceptualized as being made of various components and sub components so first we would introduce the topic then we would explain the essence of the topic then we would explain the pitfalls associated with opinions then importance of opinions then truth realization then conclusion friends i feel the best way to start this essay is by taking reference to a very popular folklore of uh, uh, wherein a mother of a small toddler Uh, domesticates a snake one fine day the mother uh, goes out to, to fetch water and in the uh, meantime uh, the the snake is uh, guarding the child but a mongoose arrives and the snake fights against the mongoose vehemently and finally kills the mongoose thereby saves the baby but however in the process uh, the snake uh, snake has uh, blood stains all over it the mother uh, comes back and the mother sees the snake's first snake first and the mother gets angry and the mother uh, con- i mean uh, concludes herself that uh, this snake has killed her baby so in that uh, uh, whiff of anger so she kills the snake only to realize after entering the house that the child is safe and uh, the uh, there is a mongoose uh, lying dead next to the child so then she realizes that the snake has actually saved the baby but her whiff of anger led to killing of the snake itself okay so i mean you may be wondering how this uh, folklore is getting related to the topic itself see the topic essentially means what essentially talks about perceptions correct so everything we hear is an opinion not a fact what does that mean so whatever we see whatever we hear need not get seen or need not get heard the way they have to be seen the way they have to be heard 
correct so there is always a thin layer that separates the truth from the person who uh, who who is exposed to the truth that thin layer is what we call perception correct so here the mere fact uh, the the whatever she saw was not truth her opinion was that what was the fact the fact was baby was saved by the snake correct but what was her opinion her opinion was no no this snake only has killed the baby so this gap between fact and opinion led to a mishap led to committing the killing of snake correct so that's how you can link this topic to uh, link this essay to sorry link this folklore to the topic and then you can elaborate on the essay so oh, friends basically what does this topic essentially mean as i already told you fact plus interpretation is equal to opinion correct so there is fact correct that fact is interpreted in a in way different ways by different persons the fact is same if uh, a interprets in one way b interprets in another way so the way in which a interprets a fact uh, is a's opinion uh, the way in which b interprets the same fact is b's opinion correct the fact is same it is interpreted in different ways suppose all the encroachers along the river are being evicted by civic authorities correct river conservationists would view it to be a positive action uh, taken in the good faith of conserving river correct then communists or people some other some other people may view it as an anti poor exercise which is essentially bad see eviction of encroachers along the river bed is a fact it is interpreted to be uh, undertaken in view of conserving the river body it, this is one way of interpretation by an environmentalist but by for a communist that is an utterly foolish act uh, aim to trouble the weak correct so that is the difference between fact and opinion correct so one has to be mindful that whatever he or she feels sees hears is not a fact but a mere opinion correct so this mindfulness will only enable a person to take right decisions this mindfulness will only enable a person to act in the right spirit okay friends now we have to explain explain the pitfalls of opinion what do you mean by pitfalls of opinion i told you na there is between the fact and the person there is a thin layer which which obscures which skews the fact that thin layer is what we call perception right why would what are the reasons for or the factors that lead to that uh, uh, skewing okay so the first thing is stereotype what do you mean by stereotype stereotype basically means ascribing the group opinions to all the members of the group irrespectively correct that means judging a person based on the group to which he or she belongs so there is a general opinion about a group so whoever belongs to the group would also be viewed in the same light though that person may be different okay so that is stereotype to illustrate all those people who speak good english are intelligent this is a stereotype that runs in india so there may be some people who speak english they may be utterly stupid yet the moment he or she speaks good english so everybody would uh, uh, look up uh, look up to him as one of the most intelligent person that is okay uh, best example for stereotype second thing is halo effect halo effect essentially means judging entire personality of one person based on one trait that means all intelligence are honest correct it need not be so right there are so many intelligence who have turned to be criminals there are so many intelligence who have turned to be robbers there are so many intelligence who have turned to be uh, terrorists also so this is halo effect 
third is primacy effect what is primacy effect primacy effect essentially means judging a person or a situation by being influenced by the first experience with that person or with that situation so to illustrate suppose you see a batsman batting for the first time in one of his first matches which you would see of a batsman he is he hits a sixes four and he is a very aggressive batsman correct so and you 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 start thinking that he is the most dependable and reliable batsman who can win the match for your team correct but this primacy impact this impact uh, would be carried by you for a longer time so even if that batsman uh turns out to be a failure in the subsequent matches but still you would be thinking that he can bounce back any time and bring glory to the team so that is what we the, that is essentially because in your first experience with him in your f- first encounter with him he played very aggressively that has become an uh, indelible that has left an indelible imprint in your mind okay then recency effect recency effect is similar to primacy effect in primacy effect you would judge a person in relation to uh, your, your experience with that person for the first time okay whatever you experience for the first time then you would apply the same uh, thing to your uh, uh, relationship or to your encounters with that person subsequently correct then recency effect may your judgments are influenced by some recent happenings to take the same example of a cricketer so suppose you have seen a batsman playing aggressively in match 1 okay in the next match also you would expect him to play aggressively because in the recent happenings that is just before this match has played aggressively correct in the primacy effect you get carried away by the performance of that batsman in the first match that you have seen in the recency effect you get carried away by the performance of that batsman in the immediate previous match or just previous to previous match okay so that is recency effect so then the fourth thing i mean the last thing is seeing oneself in others this happens to most of us most of us uh, i mean honest people think the entire world is honest okay so hard working people think that everyone is hard working so this is how the the tendency to see ourselves in others is extremely high so because of being uh, subjected to these pitfalls this perceptual errors so we normally uh, uh, see truth to be something else we see fact to be something else so these are the uh, reasons for Uh, these are the reasons that contribute to formation of opinions about fact or truth but friends that does not i mean now we have explained as to how uh, opinions get influenced by a lot of factors okay which are actually basically pitfalls because they skew the truth and make it an opinion right then but but then we have to explain the importance of opinions why are opinions important the first thing is see knowing truth in itself will not help uh, anything correct so it is the opinion it is the interpretation that gives multiple dimensions person a has interprets in one way person b interprets in altogether different way multiple perspectives can only help in designing the best best practice actually for example only when developmental economists and environmental activists sit together only when developmental economists and environmental activists who interpret the same event or same policy in different ways ways come together then only a best practice most favorable most appreciable solution can be appreciable solution can be arrived at correct so thus that is the whole perspective then is crystallization of knowledge see knowledge is not just about truth knowledge is basically truth plus interpretation so thus opinions lead to the crystallization of knowledge this is more true in humanities correct all these political thinkers uh, be it karl marx be it uh, be it uh, frederick ingels etc etc they have interpreted 
सोसाइटी और दे हैव इंटरप्रिटेड पॉलिटी दे हैव इंटरप्रिटेड स्टेट इन वेरियस वेस एक्चुअली सो दस डिफरेंट ओपिनियंस हैव लेड टू द क्रिस्टलाइजेशन ऑफ नॉलेज देन कम्स टू शेपिंग पर्सनैलिटीज सी बेसिकली दू वॉट इज अ पर्सन पर्सन इज नथिंग बट अ बंडल ऑफ इज ओन इज आर अर ओन ओपिनियंस करेक्ट युअर पर्सनैलिटी गेट्स शेप्ड बाय युअर ओपिनियंस यू आर अ वीगन यू आर अ एनवायरमेंटलिस्ट यू आर अ कैपिटलिस्ट यू आर एन एकोनॉमिस्ट यू आर अ वॉट नॉट एक्चुअली ऑल दीज थिंग्स इज नथिंग बट द ओपिनियंस दट यू एक्सपोज फोस्टर एंड री इन सेल्फ री इन फोर्स ओके now that we have argued that opinions are also important though opinions uh, are nothing but a skewed form of truth correct yet now it is the next uh, uh, analysis or next explanation in your essay should be how do you realize the truth then how do you break that layer which separates truth from yourself correct so thus that truth realization can happen through two two major things one is self awareness what is the self awareness a person should be aware of his own personality a person should be aware of the fact that his opinion need not be true the mere realization that his opinion need not be true and his opinion is influenced by his stereotypes his primacy effect his recency effect his own personality will only enable a person to keep them aside and then see the truth for himself first thing correct so first you you, you should be aware of two things one is you should be aware of the fact that whatever you think need not be true because it is influenced by your own self correct and the second thing is what are your stereotypes what are your halo effects what are the uh, primacy effects recency effects and your personality to which you are subject that awareness would help you to take out that factor from your opinion so that truth becomes uh, tr- truth becomes uh, uh, palpable to you okay then the second thing is you have to develop tolerance what is this tolerance tolerance to differences most of the times we don't realize the truth because we are intolerant to opinions that are not in consistent that are not consistent with our own opinion correct that tolerance is the second thing thus these two are the important factors one is self awareness and and tolerance development these two factors would help us uh, remove all those perceptual errors attached to the opinion and help one realize the truth okay now it is time for conclusion friends how do you conclude from the above discussion we can safely conclude that whatever we hear is merely an opinion not a truth this realization that our opinions may be far from truth would only help a person to get closer to the truth and can uh, take decisions based on truth rather than on opinions okay okay friends since i ha- i had to uh, put two videos in the two two topics in the same videos i have no i may not have been able to explain everything at greater length because i was i really didn't want to make it's a very too long a video so that you would lose interest thank you friends all the best